All right, so Pierre Polyev was back at question period today, and he came out guns blazing like usual, and he was really continuing to put the pressure on the Liberal Party. So I'm just going to show you a few-minute clip here of him and uh, Karina Gould basically going back and forth, and then we'll talk about it after like usual. Conservatives would have liked to be working today to counter the doubling of housing costs this Prime Minister has caused, or the record food price inflation, which has been 36% higher in Canada than in the U.S., but unfortunately the Prime Minister has paralyzed Parliament by refusing your ruling, directing his government to turn over evidence in the $400 million green slush fund scandal that the the Auditor General says involves 186 conflicts of interest, with the chair of the fund found guilty. What has he got to hide? And that's a great question, right? I mean, and this is a great job by Pierre Paul, yeah, because obviously the Liberal Party is extremely corrupt and they're trying to get away with whatever they've done, but there's $400 million in question here. They've been ordered to turn over those documents to the RCMP and apparently they, they don't want to do it. And even the super biased Speaker of the House, Greg Fergus, agrees with the Conservatives. The Bloc and the NDP also agree with the Conservatives. So it's kind of all in against the Liberals right now and they're feeling the heat. And as, you, as you're about to see, they don't handle it too well. The Honourable Leader of the, of the Government in the House of Commons. Mr. Speaker, the Leader of the Opposition is not being truthful with Canadians. It is the RCMP Commissioner himself who said the RCMP's ability to receive and use information obtained through this production order and under the compulsory powers afforded by the Auditor General Act in the course of a criminal investigation could give rise to concerns under the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. It is therefore highly unlikely that any information obtained by the RCMP under the motion where privacy interests exist could be used to support a criminal prosecution or further a criminal investigation. Mr. Speaker, let's get... The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. This is a $400 million scandal involving Liberal appointees giving millions of dollars to their own companies, and the minister's story is now changing. Yeah. Last week, she claimed that the government had given documents to the RCMP. This week, they claim that if they gave documents to the RCMP, it would cause the Charter of Rights to come crashing <laughs> down. It sounds like there's a new story every week to justify paralyzing Parliament to cover up the truth. What is in these documents about this $400 million scandal that the Prime Minister is so afraid of? So a couple things there. As we all know, there's still some sort of investigation going on as to who the 11 MPs who have been, you know, basically potentially committed crimes that would, you know, basically make them treasonous MPs. Right. The election stories, they've given secrets away to other countries. They are not allowed to do that. We don't know who they are yet, but that's a liberal scandal. So it's another scandal that they're trying to, you know, just kind of slip by Canadians. And Pierre Polyev's having none of it. He's going to keep hammering this home. He also should bring up the 11 MPs. But then they're going to go after him saying, oh, he won't read the document. So he's just kind of moving on to another scandal. And the liberals keep giving him scandals. Also, the... Since the speaker did agree with Pierre Polyev on this, he did put in a uh, he he did make a ruling, I believe it was last week, where no bills can be passed right now. The government is is essentially frozen. They cannot get anything done right now. And the reason is is because they won't release these documents. And like Pierre Polyev said, you've you've said one thing last week, you've said one thing this week. What's the story going to be next week? What other lie are they going to make up? What Karina Gould said was just a bunch of word salad. It didn't even make any sense. But that's what the liberals do. They just kind of try to be slippery to get around the truth. And Canadians deserve to know how corrupt our government is. In the Liberal Party of Canada, the one who is apparently worried about their Charter of Rights, has first of all already violated our Charter of Rights. Second of all, we deserve to know how corrupt this this government really is. And they are scared. They, They must be scared, which means there must be some sort of incriminating documents. Maybe they know that some people are going to jail here. I'm just speculating, but they've got something to hide. The Honourable Leader of the, of the Government in the House of 
Thomas. This is a typical witch hunt from the leader of the opposition to go after people who had nothing to do with this. These are files such as personnel files that contain private information of individuals who have nothing to do with what is going on. Mr. Speaker, it is the RCMP and the Auditor General themselves who raised concerns with this motion, and it is the government's view that we should send this to committee so that we can get on with the important work of this House and protect the rights of Canadians. Canadians want to know what you are what you are behind. These other people who you know are just regular Canadian employees. Listen, if they broke the law, they need to face the consequences for that too. But we're worried about what the government has done. What are in these documents, and why did this? Why were why was so much money given to companies that apparently the the people who run those companies are friends with the Liberals? Why did they give them so much money? They're just giving their pals a bunch of money. It doesn't make any sense. And again, they're just going to continue to lie. They're going to continue to try to propose what they can. There's already a bunch of rumors going around about Trudeau prorogating the government, which essentially you know shuts down the government completely until I believe uh, 2025, which doesn't really help him. And I think actually would hurt him because now Canadians are going to be like, wait a minute, you've said all along that you're here to help Canadians and you want to work Canadians and you're going to serve Canadians. Then why would you prorogate the government? That doesn't make any sense. But when you're Justin Trudeau and you're an egomaniac and you refuse to lose, even though you're going to lose, buddy, you're just going to delay the inevitable. And that would make it much worse, in my opinion. And you know what? That would be much welcomed. I think all of you would agree with me, too. These scandals, this corruption needs to be uncovered. And we deserve to know the treasonous MPs. We need to know if there's just 11 of them as well. Not just are these 11 people really guilty. We need to know how many of them there actually are, because I have a feeling, just a guess here, but I would bet that there's much more than 11 MPs who have committed treason. And I don't know if it's all just on the liberals or what, but there's some people who've done some very bad things, and they continue to do do these bad things, and you know why? Because they keep getting away with it. There's no consequences for their action whatsoever. And it's absolutely nonsense. I've had enough. I'm sure you've had enough. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Do you think that this $400 million is shady and that someone's going to jail? Do you think they'll get away with it? Do you think it'll never be uncovered? Let me know what you think. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe as it really does help grow the channel. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll be back shortly with a new video.